Lee, JCI, Patrick Ilgegu, JCI Nigeria, Diego Bilcaino Garcia, JCI Ecuador, Aymeric David, JCI France, Abdul Basim Musa Kabir, JCI Nigeria, and once again, Nate Martin, JCI Hawaii. From our community, we wanted to make mention the Honorable Mayor Stephen Fulop of Jersey City, Honorable Mayor Aldrich Hawkins of Orange County, New Jersey, Mr. Fernando Mendez of Napa National Trustee, Laura Garcia, Napa New York Chair and New York City's Community Board Number Five. Mr. and Mrs. Roly and Rose Javier of Pacal, and Lady Nelia Ferrete, President of the Ladies for Rizal Long Island Chapter. Thank you all so much for joining us. There are many more community leaders. We just didn't get your name on the screen, but we know, we know you're here and thank you. Jean, on to you. Those awesome distinguished guests, Jocelyn. But our next guest our next is one guest. of the founding members founding of the members. Billings, Montana, Montana JCs in 2009. 2009. He served as the Billings Chapter President in 2011, the Montana JCs President in 2013, JCI USA National Vice President in 2015, and was the inaugural Deputy National President in 2019. This year is proud to serve as the 100th National President of JCI USA during the celebration of the century year. Outside of JC's, he learned his graphic arts degree from, the Mont from Montana State University and is owner and creative director of What's Possible. Fellow JC's and guests, who say Bele what? For JCI USA President Justin Wutsky. Hey everybody, thank hey you everybody. so much for having me so on today. Me on. Um, it's pretty cool that um, the the amazing thing right now is that no matter where things are going on, we've, adap we've adapted to digital technology so well that now I can be present at so many events uh, if possible. Um, but to start off, I just wanna thank everybody in this room and everyone that's not able to attend for JCI New Jersey, New Jersey JCs. Uh, just thank you for all the amazing work that you guys have done um, over the last few years and especially in 2019 and that's what we're here to celebrate. Uh, but thank you for everything that you're doing right now in 2020 because who would have known uh, what kind of year that we were coming into and I am so excited that I got to come visit the New Jersey JCs back in January. Um, you guys uh, hosted uh, President Stefan and I, and we had a really an amazing dinner and opportunities to meet new members and just share in fellowship uh, and enjoy the evening together. And that was really amazing. Uh, and uh, New Jersey, you do such a great job at showing what family is in the JCs and that we're all in this together and, and here to support one another locally, whether it's in Jersey City, whether it's across New Jersey uh, in different cities or across the world uh, in the Philippines and other places uh, that you all have connections for. Uh, New Jersey, you're quite the amazing um, example of the organization taking opportunities to just engage globally while still impacting locally. Uh, and you're very much an inspiration to us. Um, I, uh, yeah, so this year it's uh, been tough, uh, but uh, I think this is where we as young active citizens, it's time for us to take advantage of this opportunity where young people are yearning so much to be part of something and to take advantage of letting their voice be heard. When we live in this world where there's so much oppression happening and so many negative things occurring, the JCs are here to be the helpers and the supporters that get us through these times and to go around in our communities and find out what are the challenges that we're dealing with because we are leaders, we've been developing for years and the time to shine is right now. And by doing that, we will see so much relevancy um, that young people would be flocking to us. And so I, I just, I really highly recommend that 
uh, you think everyone just really kind of self-reflect on how JCs impacts you. How can we be better at getting the word out to other people that aren't ourselves, to other young people, and really sharing this amazing opportunity that the JCs movement is. Uh, you know, I uh, started the JC, my JCs chapter in Billings, Montana, with 20 other kind of close friends at the time. And um, we, uh, it was kind of handed over to us. We didn't really have a lot of guidance and we just kind of figured it out. And uh, of course, over the next year we grew and then we shrank and then we grew and we shrank. Um, but it was just us young people coming together, being given that opportunity to figure things out, to problem solve and to take on challenges that normally in a work setting, you wouldn't be able to take on those challenges because the bosses would do it for you and they would decide for you. Um, and so I, I've been talking a lot this year about JCI empowers me. Well, JCI empowers me is about our why. Our why as an organization is empowerment. And everyone that joins this organization is empowered to first reflect on what they want out of life. What are your goals? What would make you truly happy? and then utilize the JC's opportunity to achieve those goals. And so that means sharing your goals and dreams with your fellow members, as well as their fellow members sharing your goals and their goals and dreams with you. And then we're all in this thing together and we're all here to support each other and to help each other achieve those. And when we start really at that basic level of communicating with one another, it'd be amazing to see the results that will come out of it because I guarantee you that you'll move closer to your goals. So again, this is our 100th year anniversary. We've been around for 100 years, coincidentally developing right after a global pandemic as well and thriving and succeeding uh, bigger than ever before. And so now we are in our 100th years this year. We're all a part of history and we have an opportunity to engage so many young people right now on social media, in our communities, whatever the case it is, because after this pandemic, young people are going to want to be engaged. They're going to want to make a difference in their community. And lo and behold, they'll be able to achieve their goals and dreams in this organization because we empower them to do so. So I'll leave it with that. I. I can't wait to just enjoy the rest of the evening and and see everything that you guys have done and celebrate the amazing empowered work that you did last year and the impact uh thank you again everybody members guests leaders senators ambassadors uh foreign uh, jc member guests um we are we all are unique and bring amazing skill sets to the table. And I'm so grateful to be part of this organization so we can help each other rise and shine and just have an amazing future with the vision that we have. So thank you again. And uh, I look forward to work, continuing to work with everybody here. Thank you very much. JCI USA President, Justin Wetzke. Before I go on to the introduction of our distinguished guest speaker, let me just mention a couple more folks who joined us from around the country. First and foremost, past National Vice President Jay Raimundo, National Vice President Margot Dirksen, National Vice President Trey Jenkins, JCA Canada and JCI New York, Kristen Bottomley, and Heather Danley. Welcome to each and every one of you. And now it's my distinct pleasure to introduce our guest speaker. He will be providing us an inspirational address. Our guest is Stephen Fulop, the 49th and current mayor of Jersey City. He's a first generation American, a lifelong New Jerseyan, a Marine and a triathlete. He grew up in a Jewish family in Edison, New Jersey, the son of Romanian immigrants. Mayor Fulop graduated from Binghamton University in 1999 and spent some time studying at Oxford University. He joined Goldman Sachs after college but went to the U.S. Marine Corps right after September 11. His unit was deployed in Iraq in 2003. By 2006, he completed his service with the rank of corporal. In 2005, he was elected councilman for eight years until becoming mayor. 
He's married to his wife, Jacqueline, and they had their first child, Jackson, in 2019. They're waiting the arrival of their second child this fall. Mayor Fulop is also proud to be an alumnus of the Hudson County Junior Chamber. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mayor of Jersey City, Mayor Stephen Fulop. As young professionals, you've shown a commitment to self-development, to leadership, and community action, all of which are key attributes we in local government rely on to move forward for the betterment of our community at large. As you celebrate and reflect on the accomplishments that you rightfully recognize today, you will surely remember that the viability and the sound structure leadership of your organization was challenged this year, as was the world in ways so unfamiliar to us in modern times. In fact, these times of COVID-19 pandemic continue to be a challenge, and this is when clear thinking and decisive leadership is not only needed most, but equally looked to for guidance as the fates of our communities are tested. Today's acknowledgement by you will be a beacon for your members and the many you impact that despite the challenges, your mission has remained clear. It has remained steadfast and unwavering as you continue to abide by your credo. Service to humanity is the best work of life. That credo is something that I believe reflects our mission here in Jersey City, especially in recent months. As many others were paralyzed by the pandemic, here in Jersey City, we refused to wait for other levels of government to eventually get to us. And instead, we took action by leading the region in the call for curfews and strict social distancing measures. We also opened up two of our own testing centers to offer free walk-up and drive-through testing to our residents and frontline workers. Absent of a vaccine, testing has been one of the few proven measures to help curb the spread of the virus. And so we didn't wait for funding sources, but instead we cut the middleman, partnered directly with the labs to get faster results, and then chased reimbursements later. As young leaders yourselves, you can imagine how these actions may have been uncomfortable as some leaders in other forms of government. But the priority of the community at large must always be the deciding factor. In fact, that's been our model all along since taking office in 2013, when I was granted the privilege of the good people of Jersey City as being elected mayor of Jersey City. It was important for us to think of what is best at that moment long term for our community. What good ideas today are going to have a lasting impact and still be the good ideas of tomorrow. So when we took office, we hit the ground running by consistently looking ahead. I had all of our directors insist upon looking at game changing ideas, things that may be thinking outside of the box. I even structured an office of innovation whose purpose is to leverage new technologies that target making government more efficient, cleaning up our own failures in our use of energy, and finding ways to go green in our urban environment. This new office of innovation has won multiple awards and was actually the recipient of former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg's Philanthropic Foundation's grant for $2.25 million to create a data-driven innovation team, or as we call it, an I-team, that focuses on violent crime, youth development, and economic development. This type of forward-thinking mindset has led to many innovations throughout Jersey City, particularly when it comes to green initiatives. We are the only municipality in the East Coast region to launch a city-run, on-demand public bus system in New Jersey, which closes transit gaps, it expands our transit infrastructure, and simultaneously reduces travel costs for our lowest-income households. We've also fast-tracked the conversion of our city's fleet of trucks and vehicles to become electric, which will drastically cut down the amount of local emissions for our workforce. And of course, investing in our future technologies means investing in the group of people who will best utilize that technology of tomorrow and perhaps be the ones who are pioneering even new technological advances. But those people are our youth. And how did we do that? First, 
We still believe in fun, but we reinvented our recreation department by adding a youth development quotient that focuses on enrichment, employment, preparation, resume writing, money management, and volunteerism. This something for everybody approach is the recreation's historic definition of being kind of solely about athletics into a realm of being completely inclusive to all of the betterment of our youth and their future career paths. And out of my office directly, we committed ourselves to introducing our youth to the workforce here in Jersey City with our Youth Works program, which is a multifaceted construct that is based on a relationship with dozens of private and nonprofit firms throughout Jersey City. Our Jersey City Summer Internship Program that falls under Youth Works is a public private collaboration between the Office of the Mayor, the Jersey City Economic Development Corporation, our public schools, as well as the city's leading firms and institutions. In that program, high school juniors and seniors marvel at the opportunity to work at one of the Jersey City's based largest firms that are impacting the world in real time today. But none of these programs could work without establishing relationships with all stakeholders in our community. In our city youth jobs component, the hundreds of candidates are assigned with pay to multiple city departments and agencies where they'll become a member of the team while working. The youth learn about government and their community while simultaneously gaining meaningful insight into the potential career of their future. While we push forward with ideas for the future, we can't ever forget the commitment of residents over generations who put themselves on the front line of fighting for their futures as we partner not only with making the roles of these visions a reality, but honoring the past. About a month ago, while the region and world was still in the throes of how to handle the spread of COVID-19, we forged ahead with development plans that will significantly impact our community. Plans started by committed grassroots efforts many years ago. First, we announced a $46 million plan to restore and turn the old Lowe's Theater in Journal Square into a major entertainment and arts venue that will surely be a key element for the city and the square revitalization efforts in the future. That plan, though, only came to fruition because some 25 years ago, a group of volunteers formed the Friends of the Lowe's nonprofit to save that iconic theater from a wrecking ball. Now, they'll partner with us in making it a landmark venue once again. And secondly, we announced an amazing moment for the city with the plan for the development of 8,000 new units of housing at the former Honeywell site on Route 440 near the Hackensack River. This site once was the state's largest contaminated brownfield, and it was mandated to be cleaned after groups of residents with the support of local officials 30 years ago took on the textile giant Honeywell and won a federal court case that ordered the, the complete cleanup of that site. We took the fight further and purchased the finally cleaned up land so that we could launch the boldest affordable housing plan this city has ever committed to. The new Bayfront development, as it's called, will now have 35% affordable housing, a staggering 600% increase compared to the original developer's plan. With this being said, to me, the path has always been clear by setting goals that will ultimately improve the community, be it by renewal, modernization, better and affordable housing for all, or by cleaning our environment. Thus, these things are creating a more resilient and sustainable future for everybody. And the best way of accomplishing our goals is by partnering with residents and stakeholders alike. And that way, everyone can contribute to the greater good. One vision, one impact, one future. Congratulations, JCI, New Jersey. Wow. What a great message what a great from Mayor Fuller. Let us take our time and pousse lever. So that's another way of saying pousse le what? For Mayor Fuller. Let us give um, him the respect he deserves for his uh, inspiring message. And now I would like to present New Jersey, J JCI New Jersey, President Maria Nakom. Maria joined the Philippine American New Jersey JCs in 2016 and became a project chairperson and then later a chapter president for the year 
2018, she was elected to chair president. In 2019, she served as the state president of JCI New Jersey. This year, she is serving as chairman of the board. Maria is an emergency room registered nurse at Morristown Medical Center, Atlantic Health System, and house nurse supervisor at JFK Medical Center, Hackensack Meridian Health System. Maria is the daughter of Cressy and the late Vic Billison. She is married to her husband, Steve, and mom to three children, Tara, Sean, and Kale. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Maria Nukum, who will be presenting some special awards, and then we will deliver our valedictory address. Nous allons. Thank you very much, Jean. That is a very nice introduction of me. I appreciate it. JCI, and I'd like to welcome everybody. This is such an extra, extraordinary. Um, uh, hold on one second. Where is it? Hello? Can you hear me? We can hear you. Okay. So I'd like to welcome again everybody and thank you for joining us in our JCI New Jersey first virtual um, event um, for our year-end award as well as ceremony and induction ceremony. JCI 2019 was a great year for JCI New Jersey State. Each chapter, JCI North, North Jersey, JCI Philippine American New Jersey, and Atlantic City Junior Chamber had many impactful projects. JCI New Jersey and ended 2019 as growth not only in members but passion. The passion of chapter and state leaders empowered our members to achieve great projects. Today, I have the privilege and honor to announce and give awards in a state level to these outstanding projects and individuals that, that and who make sustaining sustainable impact. JCI New Jersey's 75th Annual Induction and 2000 Year End Award, M. Blanc. Long term local community empowerment projects and programs ran over a period of time more than one year to improve the community and extend the JCI USA mission. Goes to The most outstanding local term local community empowerment project of the year goes to the shelter housing holiday decorating and gift giving chaired by Rosalina Dorvillis, who is a JCI North Jersey chap chapter president at this time. She was a vice president in 2019. Through this project, JCI North Jersey and members of the community gathered to, ga gathered to decorate shelter houses from trees to ornaments, even hot chocolates. This project empowered the holiday spirit and what it means to give back. Congratulations, Rosalina Douglas. Local Peace Project is a project with the objective of creating peace locally and globally. These projects are of benefits, communities and individuals working together towards great goods. The best local pro peace project goes to Clean up for peace. This was chaired by our now national vice president, Joyce Andes David. She was our my state president. She was a member. She's a state president of New Jersey, as well as a member of the JCI Philippine American New Jersey. Joyce Andes helped coordinate this project as well, got down dirty to help the New Jersey JCs on a beach and clean up. Together, they collected 100 bags, 100 plus bags of trash. Interorganization collaboration project. Projects conducted to benefit to chapters and their members from 
collaborating with members of other GCI USA and JCA organization. This project goes to Empowerment of Education. Chaired by two members, sorry. Chaired by two mem chaired by two chapters member by two members from two different chapters, Jason Andes of JCI in North Jersey, and and Donna Domingo of JCI Philippine America New Jersey. This project was done in the Philippines. JCI Philippine America New Jersey conducted with JCI in North Jersey and distributed school supplies among the children of two orphanages in the Philippines. Congratulations. The United Nations Sustainable Developmental Goals Project of the Year. These are projects that are subject are specific to the goals listed that work with United Nations Sustainable Developmental Goals. The most outstanding local United Nations Sustainable Development Goals Project of the Year goes to World Cleanup Day. This project was chaired by Stephanie Cañete of the Philippine American New Jersey chapter. It was held on September 21st, 2019. Stephanie Cañete led the New Jersey JCs on the beach cleanup in conclusion with members helping from the Philippines. They collected 100 plus bags of trash. That helped over aid half of the SDGs provided by United States and nations consisting of clean water and sanitation, life below water, and climate action. Congratulations, Stephanie. Going back to the slides from three slides over with the most outstanding youth project. This project conducted by youth and with the objective of creating peace locally and globally. The most outstanding youth project goes to Clean Up for Peace, held on September 21st, 2019. This was done by the JCI New Jersey youth and other individuals of the community helped clean up a local beach together. They collected 100 plus bags of trash and they help aid over one third of the SDGs provided by the United Nations, consisting of clean water and sanitation, life below water and climate action. Thank you, Sherry, for um, uh, controlling my, uh, my slides. Now we're all going to the local community empowerment project. The local community and project project goes it's a project conducted that are designed to promote and improve the quality of life for people in the community and assist with the community needs and also extend the JCI USA mission. This, uh, this project of the year for the most outstanding local community empowerment project of the year goes to Blessing Bags. This is, was chaired by Jason Andes of the JCI North Jersey on December 1st, 2019. The Blessing Bags Project prepared 250 meals, bags for those in need, and it was given to the Elizabeth Coalition Homeless. Congratulations, Jason. Local Growth and Development. This is a project conducted that aimed to grow JCI USA in order to create development opportunities for more young people in their community. The most outstanding local growth and development goes to the top 40 under 40 ceremony that was organized by the Atlantic City Junior Chamber under the presidency of Larissa Chronic. This was held on March 25, 2019. This is South Jersey's most impressive 40 individuals under the age of 40 who, are, who were hand selected as leaders in both career and community. They are not only excel in their selected professions, but and to exemplify what it truly means to inspire and serve the community, this project helps cultivate leadership in society and spread the names of the future. Congratulations, Larissa Kronick and the chapter Atlantic City Junior Chamber. 
Local economic development. Programs conducted with goals of creating, increasing or improving business and economic opportunities and of productivity in the local community. The most outstanding local economic development goes to shelter housing, holiday decorating and gift giving. This was chaired by Joy, Joyce and as David of the JCI North Jersey held on November 29, 2019. Through this project, JCI members of the community gather to decorate shel and shelter homes from trees to ornaments, even hot chocolates. This project embodied the, Holy Spirit, the holiday spirit and what it means to give back. Congratulations, Joyce. Next is our local personal skill development. This is a project by creating development opportunities for, your, for people to create positive change and developing the skills of, indi of individual. This project goes to the most outstanding local personal skill development to Sharon May Garau for her project of the financial wellness done by the JCI North Jersey. It was held on March 2, 2019. The financial wellness seminar su supplied constituents of the community knowledge in the of the fundamental concept of money management, death elimination, life insurance, and retirement option. Congratulations, Sherry. Now for best chapter and in individuals. The most outstanding local vice president of the year, I give it to Rosalina Dorvilas. She is, Rosalina Dovilis played an active role in her chapter of JCI North Jersey while being a student last year. She is now recently graduated and holding a job in the healthcare department, in the healthcare. Congratulations, Rosalina, for being the most, local, most outstanding local vice president of the year. Thank you for your um, outstanding um, job that you did for your, for your chapter. For the most outstanding local chapter president of the year, it goes to Shari May Girau, who is the chapter president of JCI North Jersey. During the year of 2019, Shari May Girau was challenged with the obstacle of a wife and mother of three. Furthermore, she's explored this chapter of JCI North Jersey as, as their JCI as the 2019 chapter president. During Shari's one year to lead, her chapter flourished and touched the hearts of individuals around the world. Thank you and congratulations, Shari. She's the one controlling my slides right now. I do appreciate that. Now, for the best local chapter of the year, Rumble, it goes to JCI Philippine America, New Jersey. JCI Philippine America, New Jersey is a relatively small chapter created a colossal impact on, on to the Filipino and local community. Their projects, empowering education, be youthful, World Cleanup Day created um, immeasurable impact. Congratulations, JCI Philippine American New Jersey. And to the chapter president of that um, chapter, which, who is May Eileen Mangwell. Congratulations. President's Honors Awards are given by me to recognize the, the success and achievements and that impacted um, our, our state, as well as individual. President's Honor Award, Honorable Mention Local Community Empowerment Project goes to the induction fundraiser for Nike, which was shared by Joyce Andes of, J of the JCI New Jersey. This fundraiser raised a great sum amount of money to aid and support Filipino digital artist Leonari Nikki Opsilio. Nikki suffered from numerous underlying conditions as well as cancer. She never let the cancer stop her from doing what was right. Nikki's legacy and compassion has surpassed. Her final breath, may she rest in peace. Congratulations, Joyce, and may, may Nikki rest in peace. Presidential Honor Award, it's also given to an honorable, to a local economic development project, Be Youthful. 
The Youthful was a project by the JCI Philippine America, New Jersey, hosted by Jesse da Daeng. The Beauty Break project, known as Be Youthful, was a celebration for Women's History Month. Female empowerment was the core aspect of the night. While learning about skincare, day and day, day makeup, and just relaxing. Congratulations to this project of the, of the Philippine American New Jersey. And thank you, Jeff, Jesse Dang, for hosting this, um, this project with us. President's Honor Award. President's Honors Award I give to a special partner who is my husband, Hermes, also known as Stevie Newcomb of the JCI Philippine New, New Jersey. Hermes was one of the founding members of JCI Philippine American New Jersey and the alumni. Hermes terms as a husband to New Jersey State President. He is, um, was one of the honor and perseverance, whether it be through service by JCI or given back through his job as a chef. Jet Hermes or Stevie has never failed to provide the community. Thank you very much, and I love you. Now, President's Honor Award is also for special partners to Armand David, JCI, New Jersey. He is the husband of the 2019 State President, Vice President, State Vice President of my year, Joyce and Des. Now, 2020 uh, JCI USA VP. I have always been called the third wheeler. <laughs> as I'm always with them. Um, but I do thank you, uh, Armen, for the outstanding support and dedication you give to our organization. I would like to also honor my chapter presidents of 2019. Sharon May Garrow of JCI North Jersey, Larissa Kronick, of Atlantic City Junior Chamber, Junior Chamber JCs, and May Eileen Manuel of JCA Philippine America, New Jersey. I thank you for all your support and out, outpouring support and dedication to the JCA New Jersey. To my state president team 2019, led by my MVP Nate Martin, as we called ourselves Hashtag best team ever. I like you. I thank you for your support and, and for a wonderful year. To my Christine B. Rogman, who is the state president of Maryland, Mary Ann, Mary Ann D. Jenkins, who is a state president of South Carolina, Parker Terenbach, who is a state president of Iowa, and Serena Michelle Birch, who is a state president of Louisiana of our term in 2019. I thank you so much, and I appreciate all the love and support that our, our group created. Thank you. I would also like to award a presidential medallion to my MVP from Hawaii, MVP Nate, who came all the way from Hawaii to support JCI New Jersey in November and first week of December and met our members. Thank you so much for coming all the way here and spending your holiday with us, um, MVP Nate. And I appreciate you being here in, in our induction tonight. And to my Eastern Institute State Presidents, I do appreciate and I honor all the friendship and time and support we had together. We had a wonderful time in West Virginia when we had our, uh, our event over there for the annual meeting for Eastern Institute. I'd like to congratulate Eureka Ellison of West Virginia and my very best friend over there, Neil A. Hans of Pennsylvania. Thank you for attending also this event. I'd like to also mention Tammy Honeywelle of, of New York, uh, Julian Shockley of Delaware, and Christine B. Rugnam of Maryland. Thank you so much for your time. Presidential advisors, I would like to also give you a medallion for your endless support in the JCI New Jersey from the day one you stepped in as my advisor. Thank you, Senator Jane Amend, and thank you, Senator Lee Clemente. To my JCI supporters who actually brought this, these awards all the way from the Philippines, I would love to say thank you to Mr. Ron and Grace Labanius, who has been a big supporter of JCI New Jersey from the very beginning it got reinstated um, in, of New Jersey. 
Thank you very much. Okay. This project, I'd just like to also include in this um, slide I have, these projects were all submitted to the national levels. The hard work and dedication of members were recognized last June 5th to 2020 at the JCI USA Virtual Award Night. I would like to share with you that JCI New Jersey brought home these following awards. Congratulations, and let's continue to inspire everyone. I would like to congratulate JCI New Jersey for bringing home the following awards and to continue to inspire everyone. JCI New Jersey, Philippine American New Jersey brought home um, 90 certificate for completing 90% of the CLC, of CLC efficiency. For JCI New Jersey, 90% for completing its CLC. I'd like to also congratulate JCI Philippine American New Jersey for being nominated and awarded as the best, best peace project which was the cleanup project for peace. And which is also eligible for the project of peace, project of the year um, this year. I'd like to congratulate the, the project Blessing Bags of JCI New Jersey for being the, one of the finalists in the local community empowerment project finalists. I'd like to congratulate two local youth members who were recognized in the national level. Andrew David of the JCI New Jersey Youth and Tara Newcom of the JCI New Jersey Youth. Congratulations. Last, we'd like to also congratulate um, Hermes Newcomb for also being mentioned or awarded a special partner award at the national level back in June, to, June 5th, 2019, to 2020. To end, Thank you for bringing so much pride and joy to our state organization. Cheers to another impactful and fabulous year of positive change this 2020. Special thanks to my uh, committee who are JCI youth for organizing this uh, slides that I presented today. I do appreciate Joshua Andes and Tara Newcomb of the JCI New Jersey Youth. Thank you. Now back to you, Senator Jocelyn. Thanks. And I just want to get a quick view for everybody to see everybody on the Zoom call right now. So can I ask my uh, director, Ralph, just to flash them on the screen? And as we do, we want to ask each and every one of you to please give a thumbs up for the amazing accomplishments of the members, the officers, and all the kids who are also participating in the projects today. Please. That was great. Double thumbs up. Thank you. And the next screen, we want to just say hi to the next screen of folks. Back to the Zoom shot. We want to see all of us. There's about 80 of us right now. Hey, can I get a thumbs up from those folks who see yourselves on the screen? Yes, thank you. And let's do a swipe to the right. All right, thumbs up. I can see you, everybody. Fantastic. All right, from all around the world. Next swipe right, please. Everybody, hi, how are you? Thank you so much for joining. One more, swipe to the right. Fantastic, thank you so much. And there we can see everybody who's here. Thank you. If I see properly, that was a lot of participants. Okay, back to the main screen. Wasn't that fun, Jean? It was really nice. Was really I think nice. Muppet yeah. is really good at delivering her addresses, and those are some great leaders. Yes, but let me ask you, is she supposed to say her goodbye speech, her valedictory? I don't think I heard it. I am now. I didn't Go hear it. I don't think I heard it either. I'll, I'll just start now. 
we'd like to bring back okay. past president, Maria Nukum. Thank you very much, Senator Jocelyn and Jean. I do appreciate you remind me about us giving my valedictorian address. Thank you so much. I got so nervous in the beginning in terms of the slides, I totally forgot about saying thank you to everybody. So greetings to all and welcome to our very first virtual JCI in New Jersey event and year-end induction ceremonies. The video, the video you will be watching later, it will be, it's just a mere glimpse of the exciting and memorable year, memorable year I had in 2019. I had met so many inspi inspiring and extraordinary people who had made impact and change in me. I have become more involved, engaged, and empowered to create positive change. I would like to thank the many people who have supported and believed and encouraged me as I accepted the role with humility and respect as a 2019 JCI New Jersey State President. To this day, I am still honored and humbled to have wonderful experience and opportunity of the journey in the JCI organization. As I took the jump to move forward and to follow the gift to lead, inspire, and be the change. At my inauguration day last year, I shared, being a leader does not mean being on top or about showmanship. Being a leader is about how you can inspire, connect, and create change. Some of us may not see ourselves as being leaders, perhaps because of the stigma of failing or saying, I am not born to be a leader. However, we have to erase that stigma. Leadership requires no special inborn attributes. Instead, leadership is born from positive character traits, such as honesty, integrity, compassion, and selfishness and sense of self. Now, during these unprecedented times, we all know that this is not a norm for everyone. Many citizens in our community are out there having difficulty and hardships. Let us, let us get engaged, get involved, and let's be there to help. We know that we have to practice certain health advisory and practices but let not that deter us from reaching out. There are many innovative ways we can do it, especially now with advanced technologies. Chapter presidents and officers, let's reach out to our members and empower and engage them. With the new presidency in 2020, let us continue to support State President Stevenson with his theme of one vision, one impact, one future. That being shared, I would like to thank and acknowledge chapter presidents of my year, Sharon May Garau, May Aline Manuel, Larissa Kronick, Vice President Rosalina Dorvilas, alumnus and mentors, associate members of the JCI North Jersey chapter, JCI Philippine American New Jersey, and Atlantic City Junior Chamber for the amazing efforts in creating projects and programs that created sustainable impacts and positive change in our community. You all are the true leaders and gifted shining stars. Let us take pride of all the accomplishments done last year and learn from what worked and what did not. From this, we can be better and stay stronger as an organization and build good leaders for our future and in the communities. My year would not have been possible without the help of the New Jersey State Boys in 2019, Presidential Advisor Senator Jane Amend and Senator Lee Clemente, past New Jersey Presidents Rhea Serrano and Joyce Andes David, my fellow, my fellow 2019 state presidents, my Eastern Institute of the, of the U.S. Junior Chamber, JCI New Jersey Senators and Senates, JCI USA 99th President Tricia Burnett and her board, and last but not the least to my MVP Nate Martin, MVP Nate, and the best team ever, hashtag best team ever, state presidents Parker, Marianne, Christine, and Serena. I thank you from the bottom of my heart and for serving you all of last year. To my families and relatives, my mother, Pressy, brothers and sisters and lost nieces and nephew, my kids, Tara, Sean and Kyla, and especially my husband, Stevie Newcomb, thank you for your support and understanding. Without you all, I would not have accomplished my role last year. Also, I'd like to dedicate this special thank you message to one of my closest and best friend supporter, Romy Esteban, who is a miracle and a COVID survivor and now watching and attending this event. Thank you for watching and thank you for being here and my supporting. Last but not the least, 
I would like to thank my year-end committee and my JCN New Jersey youth, Tara Nukum and Joshua Andes for helping out in, in, in making the, and coordinates the slide. To end, let's continue to be open-minded, be motivated, and be inspired, not in the year 2020, but years after. Thank you. we met, I could tell by your smile, you hadn't been with a good girl like me in a while, yeah you were impressed, couldn't leave me alone, text me every time, that you pick up the phone, and I had control in the driver's seat, but my hands are slipping off the wheel, now the tables have turned, now I'm up on I'm picturing you acting like a fool. I'm on the other side. You're like a full moon. And I'm up all night howling at you. Tables have turned. Uh, uh. 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 my breath when you say my name i feel tight in my chest can't handle the space i need you here by my side you make me sweat in the coldest of nights yeah i had control in the driver's seat but my hands are slipping off the wheel now the tables have turned now i'm up all night i'm picturing you years history of JCI New Jersey. You have been part of it. We, the membership of JCI New Jersey, realizes that and acknowledges your contribution to our heights and achievements of the organization. We hereby present to you uh, this uh, medallion, which is a part of the presidential team, a part of history, which we could not neglect, a part of history that we can be so proud of for a successful year. Congratulations, and maybe this video 
in your hands as you go on with your life and your career. Wasn't that interesting, Jean? Oh my goodness, she got a gift nice. and everything. Well, cool. she did put in a lot of work and effort this year, and so did the state of New Jersey. She deserved it. All right then, it. yes. All right then, at this juncture, let's bring the program to a little bit more of a serious tone. We're going to proceed with a ceremonial and symbolic part of the program. That is the turnover of the gavel and the presidential medallion. The gavel is a symbol of authority, and of course, the presidential medallion, you wear it when we have the formal events. This portion has been pre-taped to preserve the solemnity of cer ceremony so that we're able to do it in close proximity, but still being safe. We turn now to the video. President of for the year 2019. So here, I turn over this gap to you. It is a symbol of authority. We hold it unsearchingly but righteously. Uh -oh. Please hold. Seems We're going to try like that video once again. Issues with the video. <laughs> Indeed. Well, you know, Jean, sometimes that happens. This is our first virtual event, right? Absolutely. We practiced a few days, but you never know what happens on the day of an event. Isn't that right? So we'll hold on for just a bit and see if we can just run that video very quickly. And of course, our director, Ralph, is working feverishly in the background to make things happen. I guess Why right. don't we give a chance a for uh, Maria? Yes, yes yeah. Can we just perhaps bring it back to the live shot? Uh, not the video, but let, let me call in Maria just to say the words and for Steve to accept it. Why don't we do that? Director Ralph? Can
Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. yes, yes. Okay. I have I have my script. Are we doing a video too? Yeah, the gavel. Okay. Go ahead. I, Maria Newcomb, President of JCI New Jersey for the year 2019, do hereby turn over this gavel to you. It is a symbol of authority, wielded unflinchingly but righteously, with courage and humility, with determination, but with compassion and understanding. And as you accept this gavel and authority that goes with it, may God help you and with your undertakings. I, Stevenson Bank and their owner, President of JCI New Jersey for the year 2020, do hereby accept this gavel as a symbol of authority with the JCI tenets expressed in the JCI values as my guide and with the blessings of the Almighty. It is my covenant to wield this gavel unflinchingly but righteously, with courage but with humility, and finally with determination but with compassion and undertakings, and so be it. We will now Great. go on oh. to the presentation of the chain. So let's hold on real quick for the video of the chain and a live recitation of the words. So I, Mar Start. I, Maria Newcomb, President of New Jersey, JCI New Jersey of the year 2019, do hereby turn over this presidential chain to the 2020 president Stevenson Van der Rodar. It is a symbol of authority and history of our beloved state organization. Wear it with pride and honor, with confidence and respect for all the men and women who led before you and the men and women who will lead the state organization after you. I, Stevenson Van der Rodar, President of JCI New Jersey for the year 2020, do hereby accept this presidential chain. With it, I will represent the state organization and its glorious history with the guidance of our past presidents and with the inspiration of our future state leaders. Uh, Jean, who's next? Who will join us? I think I mentioned it earlier. Well, actually, now we're going to bring back Justin Woodkey for the installation of our 2020 state president. All right. So we'll be inducting President Stevenson here. The office to which you have been elected is one of dignity and importance. In accepting this office, you undertake a responsibility, which is not to be assumed lightly nor carelessly discharged. You are charged with the duties of seriously and resolutely furthering the objectives of the JCI New Jersey and of the United States of America Junior Chamber International or JCI USA. With the Constitution and bylaws and policy manual as your guide, you must be ever ready to exercise the functions of the office with which you are entrusted. Further, you are charged with governing this organization according to the laws of democracy, under which laws every man who wishes to speak shall be heard. Toward the end, that is every matter considered. The best opinion shall prevail through the express will of the majority and the best course of action followed. Do you accept this charge? I do. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. Stevenson Van Derador. Van Derador. Van Derador. Do you solemnly swear 
do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute that I will faithfully execute the office of president of JCI New Jersey the office of president of JCI New Jersey and will to the best of my ability and will to the best of my ability serve as a living example serve as a living example of this organization's philosophies and beliefs of this organization's philosophies and beliefs and will uphold and enforce and will uphold and enforce the constitution of this organization at all times the constitution of this organization at all times so help me god so help me god all right congratulations thank you so much Yes, yes, great everyone. Who say live it? And now it's my honor and privilege to introduce you to the newly inducted 75th state president of JCI New Jersey. To give it his new address, Stevenson Van Der Distinguished guests, friends, fellow JCs, it is with privilege that I stand with you today to convey a message of leadership opportunity. Society tells us that there's so much that we can do as active citizens. JCI has shown us legacies and experiences developing our youth, young professionals, entrepreneurs into their best. John F. Kennedy thinks his JCI involvement provided him the actual experience of leadership not learned in schools. Nelson Rockefeller has made personal decisions that a family estate became what is now the United Nations. The statehood of Hawaii and Alaska were a few of the works of our active citizens. Today, our power of responding to this pandemic is another work of active citizens. But beyond that, we know that we need each other. We know that it takes leadership in us to rise above lost incomes from experiencing the craziest of doubts, paranoia, and even despondency. But every leadership engagement with JCI is an opportunity to be better, to become what you want to become, to defy odds and reinforce your willpower. When there is an opportunity, go, take it, seize it. It's a very potent tool to actual learning, to impact and be part of the realization of a vision. I am overwhelmed, humbled, and honored to have been called to serve in JCI in New Jersey as the opportunity presented itself. Our impact is meant to reach to uncharted territories and frontiers when sought. There's nothing like the brotherhood, the adherence to the government of laws and service to humanity found than in JCI. Borrowing it from the book, Leadership for the Common Good, there are five minds for the future. First, the disciplined mind is a distinctive mood of cognition that characterizes a specific scholarly discipline, craft or profession. The synthesizing mind takes information from desperate sources, understands and evaluates the synthesizer and also to other persons. The creating mind puts forth new ideas, break new grounds, poses and familiar questions, conjures up fresh ways of thinking, arrives at unexpected answers, the respectful mind notes and welcomes differences between human individuals and between human groups, tries to understand these others and seeks to work effectively with them. In a world where we are all interlinked, intolerance or disrespect is no longer a viable option. Lastly, the ethical mind ponders the nature of one's work and the needs and desires of the society in which one lives. This mind conceptualizes how workers can serve purposes beyond self-interest and how citizens can work unselfishly to improve the lot of all. In line with these minds, we at JCI New Jersey plans on continuing programs and breaking grounds for the future, such as the youth debates, introduce JCI New Jersey Innovation Awards, strengthen community partnerships, initiate entrepreneurship and scholarships programs, continue homelessness programs, Improve government JCI New Jersey engagement. Instituting JCI New Jersey governorship norms, 
pioneering digital memberships, revitalizing membership with to eight and infinity incentive programs, champion back to work programs, prioritize peace promotions, diversity, empowerment, and inclusion. JCI New Jersey has reached its 75th year, not without challenges and triumphs. This year, we take it upon our illustrious goals on investing today to prepare the future. By investing in our young leaders, we place our bets to what holds the future of our very own children and their children. The sustainability of our actions, the actualization of our vision, and the propagation of our mission. Good evening. Go, 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 go. Take it, take it. Yeah. Senator Jocelyn, we can't hear you. I I'm now sorry, the New Jersey governorship number 364. Congratulations, Steve. If we were in a room right now, this would have been time for a bathroom break or a musical break. So guess what? I think we're going to do a special performance. What do you think, Jean? I think so. I know we're having a little trouble communicating with Jean online, but that's okay. So now, allow me please to introduce a special performer who is a dear friend of the JCs. Miguel Braganza is an alumnus of the Broadway show Miss Saigon. He's a New York-based international musical theater actor, director, choreographer, show creator, and teaching artist. He's working as a choreographer for the new Broadway-bound musical Song of Solomon. It will premiere in Manila and Israel in 2022 and New York in 2023. Miguel was awarded the Distinguished Icon of Impact Award from JCI Philippine New York in 2016. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy the musical performance of Miguel Braganza. Congratulations to the outgoing president, Maria Newcomb, and the incoming president, Stevenson Van de Rodar, and all all the officers of JCI New Jersey. This song is for you and for everybody. It's too mysterious. You work, you save, you worry so, but you can't take your Go, 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 go. So keep repeating. It's the berries. The strongest oak must fall. in life to you we're just It's 
just a ball of cherries. So live and laugh, laugh and love. So live and laugh. Had it. The strongest of mass the sweet things in life for you are just long so Small technical difficulties. Indeed, it's been a challenge today, Gene. Oh my goodness. Technology, technology is a technology challenge. Is a challenge. It's like Murphy's Law. If it's All right, audience, go can wrong, we get some support? Get some support. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think our director is going to try to restart that video to give um, the proper honor and respect to our performer who prepared such a time to, to do the video and the song. So do give us a second. But in the meantime, Gene, you and I are both from NYU. What is your most memorable thing that you did while at school? Oh, well, well, the whole thing was very thing memorable was very because memorable. I used it I used to grow my nonprofit, grow my nonprofit. train and mobilize and young life. leaders to deliver health care and save lives. So my favorite part was taking classes directly geared towards building a nonprofit. Thank you. Well, as for me, I mean, I transferred into NYU. So I was there when I was a junior and it was kind of mm -hmm. tough. Um, going into a new school when you're in third year and trying to figure out where everything was. But I discovered yeah. this group of, uh, I'm going to say an all-female fraternity. Isn't that funny? It's all-female and yet it's a fraternity. But That's it's because true. we're yeah. all uh, business related. So shout out to Phi Chi Theta. It really made my college experience very special. Although I wish I kept yeah. in touch with all the ladies there. But who knows? In these times of virtual Zooming parties everywhere, and LinkedIn and Facebook, we can find people from our past. Right. We'll just leave all the X's behind, I'm sure. Let's let's go meet the huge, people from our past that's made out, a difference. Yes, yeah. huge shout, shout out to our uh, professional organizations like JCI. Thank you to all the audience who joined on us, uh, joined on this call and are contributing and pousser le vel, pousser le ve, right? These are our poos, right? These are our poos, and we live it, our poos. So this is poos live it. That's our French lesson. So uh, technical difficulties gave us a little opportunity to um, show our guests a little bit more French. Right, Jocelyn? In our uh, backgrounder for this event, we have the, uh, the scenes from Paris. Have you been to Paris, Jean? I have been to Paris. I have been to Paris. Yes. When was this? A long have time you? ago? Have you? This oh, was a yes. long have time ago. Was... Long time ago. Was... Seventh grade. Seventh grade. Wow. Was it on a class trip or a family trip? It was a family trip. We went to go see our cousin, and they took us around to the Louvre, Charles de Gaulle, the Eiffel Tower, of course, and we saw all the like. How was it when you went? How was it when you went? 
I actually went and attended a World Congress in Cannes. And on the way home, I joined JCI Connecticut, the whole bunch from Connecticut. I forgot which chapter, but there was like um, a whole busload of us. And we toured mm -hmm. Paris for the day, which was amazing. I wish I had pictures from that day. And of course, um, we also had our friends from South Carolina. And the funny thing is, apparently the tour bus company took us on the first bus and took them on the second bus. So it took a long time to bring us home. Oh my goodness. Paris, my favorite interesting experience. <laughs> so what are we probably going to do next? Um, don't forget, the next event that's happening in the global scene is the World Congress in Japan. So we have to make sure people put that on their calendars. And um, maybe next time we should take a trip back to Europe for their European conferences. The North and South American conferences, ASPAC, and African conferences. There's a lot we can do here at JC. I love those trips. You should go on one, Jean. Go to an international event when we can fly. When we can fly. Okay, we want to just greet. Happy 50th anniversary to the New Jersey JC Senate this year. Wow. We also want to say hello to Rolando Lavaro from Jersey City, who's our counselor. Thank you so much for joining us. Shout out. He's always a big supporter of JCI New Jersey State events. All right, let's go to just um, some of our sponsors today. Let me ask uh, Ralph, our director, to just post her picture and I'll just make a quick announcement on that. We'll be right back. JCI New Jersey is thankful for all of our special supporters this afternoon's event. First and foremost, Primerica, Design District Studios, who's actually bringing us the feed today. Yoli Better Body Company, Covidioke, a quarantine sing fundraiser, Kids Philippines New Jersey chapter, and of course, Philippine Daily Mirror. Thank you all to our sponsors this evening for making this event possible. This is our first virtual event, so we really appreciate their support. All right. Yes. So let yes. me ask, um, what are we going to do next? Let me just uh, do I a think, quick. I think, I think we can. I think we can. We can go forward with the installation of the board of directors, and when we get that video pulled up, we can probably play it afterwards doing our e virtual happy hour happy we have a e okay. happy hour e -happy after hour. this event after this who knows that's what do you right think? that's what do you right think? i think so so why don't we do this let us move to the next portion of our program gene the floor is okay yours. okay thank you to our 80 to 90 audience members who are all for all the great things that we're doing the jcis are doing um, now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to present you the 2020 incoming board members of JCI New Jersey with the 2020 state president witnessing this installation. So, first, we have Maria Nukum, chair of the board. Sh Shari Garau, state vice president, 2020 JCI USA MVP. Joyce Andes David, vice president. And the chapter presidents are Larissa Cronick, membership director, Greater Atlantic City Chapter, DBA, ACJC. Rosalina Dovilus, JCI North Jersey Chapter. May Eileen Manuel, JCI Philippine American, JC's Chapter. State staff officers are as follows. JCI Senator Vivian Velasco, Presidential Chief of Staff, JCI Senator Jocelyn Bernal, President, co Presidential Coach. And now we have our Eastern Institute advisors. First is Armand David, then JCI Senator Jen Redwillowitz. And lastly, JCI Senator Jocelyn Bernal. And on to our primary advisors, JCI Senator Edson Kodama, JCI Senator Jane Amend, JCI Senator Richard Rilera. Give us a nice pousse velerot 
when your name is called. And everyone uh, give a virtual hand clap for our people. Next, I'm going to our board advisors. JCI Senator Lee Clemente, JCI Senator Rhea Serrano, JCI Senator Adelaide Cherry, JCI Senator Mike Deep. And lastly, but certainly not leastly, our JCI Senator Gary Abasolo, our legal advisor. And now off to Jocelyn. Okay, then we're going to call on the state vice president. I'm sorry, the national vice president who is assigned to the state of New Jersey to do the installation of our officers. Can you please call on Danielle Steele? Good evening, everyone. I'm very excited to install you. The office to which you have been elected is one of dignity and importance. In accepting this office, you undertake a responsibility which is not to be assumed lightly nor carelessly discharged. You are charged with the duties of seriously and resolutely fur furthering the objectives of JCI New Jersey and of the United States of America Junior Chamber International. With the Constitution and bylaws and policy manual as your guide, you must ever be ready to exercise the functions of the office with which you are entrusted. Further, you are charged with governing this organization according to the laws of democracy, under which laws every man who wishes to speak shall be heard. Toward the end that in every matter considered, the best opinion shall prevail through the expressed will of the majority and the best course of action followed. Do you accept this charge? Do. I do. Okay, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, state your name. I, Sherry Garrell. Do you solemnly swear? Solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute the office of. I will faithfully execute the office of chief of staff. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Serve as a living example of this organization's. Serve as a living example of this organization's. Philosophy and beliefs. Philosophy and beliefs. And will uphold and enforce the Constitution. And will uphold and enforce the Constitution. Of this organization at all times. Of this organization at all times. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Did you, did you notice? Yes, it was fantastic. Oh my goodness, all okay. right. Okay, okay. Great, so we have uh, Rolando Lavaro on, Lavaro on and we'd like to stop and give like him a quick shout out. Welcome, shout -out. thank you for come, coming. At this time, I'm delighted to introduce delighted this woman to who has been instrumental in the revival of the JCs in this state. From JCI Philippine, New York, she founded JCI North Jersey and extended JCI Philippine American, New Jersey. She served as 2017 National Vice President for JCI. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome JCI Senator Rhea Serrano for some special presentation. Are you able to hear me now? Good evening to all. My name is Ria Serrano, and I'm delighted and honored to present to you this year's Lifetimers. Tonight is a momentous occasion for our community as we recognize three new individuals who will be honored as JCI Senators. 
A JCI senatorship is the highest honor that can be bestowed to a current or past JC. At this point, may I request for my slide to show? And the next one, please. And the next one, please. A JCI senatorship is the highest honor that can be bestowed to a current or past JC in appreciation of services rendered at any level of the organization and is subject to the approval of the local, state, and national presidents. Let's go back to the previous slide, please. Current local members must have a minimum number of years of membership approved by the national organization before they may be nominated for a JCI senatorship. Through the Philip Pusley efforts, the JCI Senatorship was formed in 1952 at the 7th JCI World Congress in Melbourne, Australia. He became Senator number two as the first recognition went posthumously to Joaquin V. Gonzalez from the Philippines. JCI's first voluntary Secretary General, Joaquin, was killed in a plane crash while en route to, from a national convention. The JCI senatorship doesn't come easy. From the inception of the senatorship in 1952 to 2020, there's only about 78,000 JCs who have been recognized globally. This year, the Absecon JCs have nominated three wonderful people who were big contributors and active members and officers of their chapter. This is the Absecon JCs who were active from 1950 to the 1990 approximately. Over the years, the Absecon JCs maintained a membership of 25 to 50 members and a lot of wonderful projects, as you can see from the slide. And thus have been granted and accepted by the incumbent state president Stevenson van der Roeder. And so at this juncture, allow me to officially present our first JCI Senator this year as Senator number 78828. Mr. Jeff Hayden is our Senator 78828 from the great state of New Jersey. He served as president of the Epsecon JCs in the 1980 to 1981 and from 1982 to 1983. 83 was the 25th year anniversary of the chapter. He served as two terms as secretary as well as other offices. He was the first 18 year old member of the chapter and served as chairman of the largest annual fundraiser, a five day carnival for five consecutive years. Please give a round of applause for JCI Senator 78828, Jeff Hayden. The next gentleman was a member of the chapter who was also have been active during their year. Let's give a warm of applause to Senator 78829, George Kraft. Next slide, please. George Kraft was a very active member of the Obsecon JCs in the 1970s. He have been into the various projects and programs developed by the Obsecon JCs. He was born on January 3rd in 1937 and was raised in Barrington, New Jersey and lived in Obsecon for, for 50 years. As you can see, he has graduated in the Haddington Heights in 1954 and have um, attended the Institute of Technology, the Stockton University and the Pierce Business School. He was an umpire for high school basketball, baseball and softball. With all his amazing activities, both in school and at work, he was also an active member of the Obsecon JCs for all of the programs. Congratulations to our Senator number 78829, George T. Kraft. Last but not the least is our Senator number 78830. John Smith. He was a member of the Obsecon JCs in 1968. He's married and have four children and seven grandchildren. And he says, after all these years, I still believe in the JCs and especially the last line of our creed. Note that everything in the JCs came easy to me because I had the honor of learning from the best. He's a proud Senator 78828 and New Jersey statesman number 36. This is Mr. John Smith. He recently received his JCI senatorship plaque and um, he's very honored to have received it. 
and from the incumbent members of the Senate board led by JCI New Jersey Senate President Ronald Hepburn, Vice President Joan Travis, Treasurer Helen Friedlander, Chairman Rose Sibiski, and myself as a secretary, we welcome you to the JCI Senate of New Jersey. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Join me in thanking and congratulating once more the three new JCI senators for their exemplary service to our community. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Hey, Gene, do you know why they have numbers with their Senate third numbers? Why? Why? Because, as you notice, their numbers are 788. That means uh -huh. there's 78,800 plus other senators in the world. And Who's a lot of us have for that? that? Yes, indeed, to our newest senators. I mean, I'm number 645. So that tells me from the 10 years since I got mine, there's been a lot of people that have been honored with their senatorships. So there's still room for more because we can go up to infinity. So uh, let's make sure to give, give thanks for all of those who have contributed to the JC movement since then. At this time, Gene, we're gonna take a short break because we're gonna just restart our um, programming here. We're gonna take a three minute break. So those folks in um, Zoom, hang tight, take a bathroom break if you need to. And we will be back in three minutes. Thank you, be right back. Thank you. 
Hello, everyone. Please make sure that if you want to uh, chat with everybody, please feel free to do so. There's the chat section that you can open up. You can see the participant's name. You can also do a private chat. Just don't say anything bad about us, okay? We're trying our best. So anyhow, please enjoy the chats right now. We are so happy that you could join us. We'll be right back shortly. Hi, Freddie. Hello, JCs. Nice to meet you all. Hi. Um, this is my mother. Hi there. Congratulations. Hey, everybody. This is like the kiss cam at a baseball game, you know. Watch out, you might be next. Hi, Senator Lee. Hi, Tita Lee. Hi. 
<laughs> Hello, everyone. Oh, hello, everybody. Nice seeing everyone. Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. JCI Ireland in the house. Or maybe not. Hello, 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 hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Thank you for attending. Hi. Cheers, everyone. All right. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Thank you for attending. Hey, Stevenson. Stevenson. Plancha. I'm open. I'm open. Cheers. Wow, you have your glass. I don't even have one. Oh, is it drinking time already? Is that what it is? So. <laughs> okay, ready. Well done. Okay, I so guess we're going on now. We're going on now. Okay, Fantastic. here we go. We're back. <laughs> All right. I want to, Jean, Jean, you have your glass already. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see your glass. Here it is. Oh, I, I have to catch up because this is my glass. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that, that, that's okay. That's okay. okay so everyone okay. who's still on the call, we are now going to go to the next performer. Angel Ram, who was part of our pre-show, is coming back for a special musical presentation. She's Great. such a versatile singer. She sang the national anthem for the Pacquiao Bronner fight in January of 2019. She has received the Gawad America Awards and the Pakal Award for Performing Arts. She's a nurse by day and performer by night. You may have seen her at the Apollo Theater, Carnegie Hall, Town Hall, and many others. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Angel Ram.
When the silence is in quiet And it feels like it's getting hard to breathe And I know you feel like dying But I promise we'll take the world to its feet and Bring it to its feet and Such a powerful, powerful song. Wasn't that amazing, Jean? Oh boy, that really gave me goosebumps. Absolutely stunning performance. Thank you. Okay then, so we're going to come to the next, the, mo the last portion of our program. Yeah, this is our new members installation, now oath taking. So Jean, you're part yeah. of this. So I'm going to let you go off screen and we're going to introduce you back as the new member. Okay. The new members are the lifeblood of each of the local chapters. This evening, we are pleased to welcome a number of new members who we hope will become active contributors to the organization in the years to come. Please welcome all of our new members. Jean Chris Romulus, Guido Roger, Anna Christine Gomez, Freddie Burke, Cheska Zuasola, James DeRoder, Irish Anquilo, Stacey Pignetti, Marla Dubois, Michael Anthony Martinenko, Aileen May Martinenko, Malaika Quiano, Marie Christine Newcomb, Justin Tixie, Joanna Ruth Timpelon, Hannah May Villasin, R.L. Sampson, Carla Mizon, Ethan Kale Villasin, Justin Isip, Dashali Omiera Maroquin, and Joseph Dillard. We would now like to call on 2020 National Vice President Joyce Andes David to administer the oath taking. Yeah. 
right, everyone, welcome. Such an amazing um, group of names and long list. So excited to see that. Um, all right, everyone. So you are about to become a member of the greatest young persons organization in the world. The Junior Chamber International offers members the opportunity to meet a group of aggressive young people, take part in worthwhile projects, fulfill a need projects, for personal fulfill a need projects, for personal need. 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 Let's try this again. I think when the host muted. Let's try this again. I think when the host Let's muted. Let's try this again. I think when. Can you guys hear me? Okay, much better. I don't hear the echo anymore. All right, thank you to our host. So please bear with us again. All right, all new members, once more, let's try this again. Twice is a charm, right? So you are about to become a member of the greatest young persons organization in the world. The Junior Chamber International offers members the opportunity to meet a group of aggressive young people, take part in worthwhile projects, fulfill a need for personal growth, and contribute to society. So please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, please state your name, do solemnly pledge that I will uphold the principles and traditions of Please state your chapter's name and the JCI New Jersey and promote the objectives of the JCI United States and Junior Chamber International to help me God. Congratulations, everyone, and welcome to the JCs. We need to unmute our host. like to get into this portion and recognize some of our other great leaders in this time. Let us all take a moment to thank all the frontline healthcare workers and all the essential workers nationwide, many of whom are very own members like Maria Newcomb, Armand David, and Angel Ram from JCI New Jersey and other JCI states for sacrificing their own lives and treating millions of victims during the last past grueling months in this coronavirus pandemic. Let us also pray for the reposed souls of more than thousands of lives lost to COVID-19, with many of us affected still. We would now like to present a special tribute to them through an original song by song French by and LA-based American singer, uh, songwriter Lucy Laforge and her band La Mail. Lucy is a known advocate for mental health and exclusivity. Her music has been described by HollywoodLife.com as a whirlwind of joy and camaraderie and liberation. Lucy and LaMail have been, have played at LA Fashion Week, the CMJ Music Marathon, the Rose Bowl, and fundraising events and concerts for LA's LGBT Center. So without further ado, let's watch. Lucy and La Mail. 
Just a ball of feathers. Don't take it serious. It's too mysterious. You work the same. You worry so. But you can't take your go. When you go, go, go. Is the berries the strongest oak must fall? The sweet things in life to you were just low. So, how can 
We went in for one video and we got two. We don't That's usually fantastic. get a good return on investment like that. <laughs> exactly. I didn't mention exactly. when we, the Lucy La Mer video, just a little French lesson. La Mer is the ocean. So it was oh, Lucy right. and the band is named the ocean. So what do we have next? What do we have next? Okay. Well, first of all, we're about to come to the ne near the end of our event today, but we do want to spotlight one of our generous sponsor events, event sponsors, to give us a little something about their business and products. From the Yoli Better Body Company, please welcome Carlos Cabrera, who also happens to be past president of JCI Philippine New York. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, really appreciate it. And once again, congratulations to. Uh, uh, immediate past president, Maria, your team, which includes your family, by the way, too, which is awesome. And uh, congratulations to state president, Steve. Uh, welcome also to the new members. It's, it's great that uh, new members were announced today, too. So, so yes, I, I, I just uh, hope and pray that uh, we continue our service uh, to the community by being excellent leaders ourselves. Uh, you guys are doing such a tremendous job here. Um, some of you may know or may not know, I actually just moved to New Jersey, myself and my family uh, here in uh, Union. So uh, whenever we have some projects, feel free to reach out to me as well because I certainly would like to participate. Uh, anyhow, so yes, uh, certainly uh, uh, was very uh, honored to, to uh, be one of the sponsors uh, for this uh, magnificent event. And uh, I'd like to donate uh, three boxes of, of passion which is a favorite of, uh, of a lot of people, by the way, too. It's, a, it's an energy drink that uh, helps people improve their metabolism and improve their energy. So obviously, if you improve your metabolism, you know, for, for those who are looking to lose weight, that can happen too. So I'd like to donate this to you guys as well. And congratulations to, uh, once again, to all of you, everyone who, been, who have been recognized today. There's so many people who are recognized and that's one of the amazing things about, you know, the JCs because uh, we, we do provide that um, incentive to folks. So once again, thank you. And uh, yeah, looking forward to an amazing year, uh, President Steve. Wonderful, thank you Wonderful. so much thank for that so great much. donation. So, as you know, in the audience, everybody can donate to JC. I'm going to ask for a JCI leadership to put the PayPal ca or Cash App link or how you can donate to JCI in the chat so that people can do so. Um, but if you don't have anything to input, Jocelyn, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start to bring us to a close here. I just want to mention I have my bottle ready. Okay. But, okay. but, but I don't have a bottle opener. <laughs> so, my happy, 
My happy hour drink is still this one. Uh-oh. Okay. okay. There's, there's but that's a, okay. There's a, break, there's, a break, there's a breaking technique I'll teach you later. Okay. All uh, right. So, Gene, right. right. take it home. What's next? Yes. Yeah, let's bring it home. Are we ready? Who said Vele Ort, if you're ready? Let me see some pulls. Some pulls. There we go. Thank you. And we got some nice chat. Uh, so, okay, we got emojis. Sweet. Sweet. So, so, our closing remarks, I'd like to call on Shari Garau. Shari is financial advisor by trade, where she enjoys empowering her clients with financial literacy and develops new representatives in career advancement and leadership skills, spiritually. She also spends time teaching third graders at Catholic, a St. John and Evangelist Catholic school in Bergenfield, New Jersey. She's a loving wife to her high school sweetheart and a doting mother to their three sons. She joined the JCI North Jersey chapter in 2018. She serves as JCI's North Jersey chapter president in 2019. And now, JCI New Jersey's Vice President for 2020. Without further ado, I'd like to present Shari Garau. Thank you. Merci beaucoup, Jean. Thank you. Can everybody hear me? Thank you. Hello, fellow JCs and distinguished guests. Before we end today's affair, allow me to once again, thank you all for joining us at our 75th in induction and award ceremony. Thank you to each and every member of the induction committee that has worked so very hard for these past few weeks uh, to make this a successful and memorable, memorable event, I'm sure, right? Um, not only have we bridged time and space and distance to celebrate the impactful projects that we were done in 2019, we are also welcoming together a new group of young active citizens uh, joining our JCI family and the New Jersey Board of Directors leading them for 2020. I hope we have lit and perhaps rekindled your passion to empower and lead and serve our communities once again. Let us remember that not only can one person make a difference, but when united together, we can change the world. As is customary at our JC events, we would like to end the evening by inviting all members and guests to join us with our creed. This creed is what binds us together with other JC members around the world. This year, instead of just asking you all to recite it with us, we would like to feature a video of the JCI creed song, which was originally sung by one of our local chapter members from Area B, Asia and Pacific. Leaning and propose to human land that the brotherhood of man transcends their sovereignty in nations that economic justice can best be won by free to preempt the prize that government should be of rather than.
Thank you very much. <laughs> and great. guess what, Jean? I, I have a last minute addition to our program for just two quick minutes. We're gonna bring back the past Secretary General of JCI. So if you'll please allow us to indulge two more minutes for our special guest. Um, he's a great friend to our president, Steve Van Der Oder. He spoke during the New, New York Convention two years ago. And this year we welcome him back to celebrate with us here in New Jersey. Please welcome past Secretary General and JCI Senator Edson Kodama. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you all, congratulations. I'm sorry, I was dressed up and then I'm, I'm attending another meeting from my work and then people start laughing at me. So I took it out the, 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 the tie and, and suit and I'm back again. I have to go back to the other meeting, but I, 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 would, uh, I, I, would, uh, I didn't want to, to leave uh, my friend, uh, the new state president, Steve Van Der Waal, uh, without, I mean, without giving these two minutes. And uh, I'm, I apologies uh, coming after the closing remarks. So I, I'm really sorry for that. And uh, well, uh, I joined JCI. I joined a chapter when I was in Sao Paulo. I'm Brazilian, although I look like this. I, I joined a junior chamber in Sao Paulo uh, right after I opened my own business. And then I was invited to attend a meeting. I didn't know what kind of meeting. They say, oh, this meeting is gonna change your life. Say okay, so I went there, and there was a junior chamber meeting, the introduction meeting. Well, I joined the, the organization, and I took part, I took positions at the local, state, national level, and they ended up going to junior chamber international. And junior chamber international as a director of North Central South America, and then director for Asia Pacific, and I ended up getting the position of secretary general for nine years, uh, three uh, terms of three years, so nine years of total. So 20 years in Junior Chamber International Headquarters. So, and the question I receive the most uh, is about uh, what is JCI? Anywhere you go, uh, we had an interrogation at the beginning of the event, a Junior Chamber, a worldwide organization, and blah, 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 we have that, but what is JCI? And then especially for the new members, the people who took the position now uh, for the incoming year. So what is JCI? So JCI transform uh, an ordinary architect, a architect, not as good as many architects out there. And uh, he, he, he gave me the opportunity to, to know 101 countries around the world. I learned six languages. So Jean, uh, je parle un petit peu uh, français. And uh, just suis très heureux to participate in this event, the set ceremony. So uh, I learned a little bit, and I speak the most spoken language in the world, which is bad English, which is the ling language I speak. So JCI opened the whole perspectives for me, right? But again, a JCI junior chamber is not, I like the analogy of a, a, a gym you pay the membership fee of the gym, and if you don't do anything, you cross your arm, nothing's gonna happen, you're gonna take benefit of the gym. But if you go there, sweat, dedicate, then you have the benefit. So the organization uh, allow anyone to discover new talents, right? To discover new skills, to improve your capacity. In the meanwhile, you improve yourself uh, you give back to your community. What a better recipe of that. So though it's one year to lead, it's pretty fast. So then this year we have the, the, the pandemic, the COVID-19. But like was mentioned in this ceremony in the beginning, there was the a, a Spanish uh, a virus in the beginning of Juno Chamber when Henry Gissinger started the movement. So challenges we're gonna face all the time, but Junior Chamber provide the tools for you to overcome this challenge. And we will allow you to bring a better version of yourself. It all depends on you. You dedicate and then you get the benefit from the organization. So congratulations to you all. And the service humanity is the best work of life because you, while you do this in Junior Chamber, you help other people to improve. 
you give back to the community, you impact the community, and you bring the best version of yourself by uh, joining junior chambers. And going back to the meeting that I was uh, invited, uh, the meeting that would change my life, and I, I thought it was Mway At that time, was people doing talking about Mway selling products, or those kind of things. But uh, that meeting, uh, as the meeting, I meet my wife. So actually, it changed my life. So welcome, everyone. I'm uh, looking forward to see you all in person. And then uh, I wish you the best of luck. And uh, whenever I have an opportunity to, to help in any capacity, I'll be more than happy to, to assist the JCs. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Oui, oui, merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Enchanté, monsieur. Merci beaucoup, merci tout le monde. Tous les hommes, everybody who came, mes nouveaux amis et mes nouveaux collègues. I appreciate you for sticking through the technical difficulties. I appreciate you for throwing your thumbs up when it was time. I appreciate you for uh, your contributions to JCA. Uh, without further ado, uh, I'm gonna bring Jocelyn on and she'll do our closing. She'll uh, finish our closing. Finish our Jocelyn. And our last French word for the day will be au revoir. Au revoir. Merci, Jean. Thank you, thank you. On behalf of my co-host, Jean, I would like to thank each and every one of you, our special guests, for joining us this evening. This has been the 75th induction and year-end celebration for JCI New Jersey. We hope you will continue to support JCI New Jersey and all of its local chapters in the state in the year to come. We have high hopes for a wonderful and productive year while living within a new normal. Don't forget, wear a mask when you're out, practice social distancing, and we'll get through this together. Have a wonderful evening. Maraming salamat po. And please join us for the remaining 10 minutes until we end this Zoom call at 8 p.m. Thank you. A toast to all of you. Yes. Good night. Good night. Au revoir. Woohoo! Bye. Bye. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Great Thank you. job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your attendance also, Thank Councilman you. Lavaro. Good job, everyone. Congratulations. Thank you. Great job, everyone, and congratulations. Thank you, Stevenson, for the invitation. We still have an after party, so you may stay for a bit. Hi, Senator Terry. Thanks for joining us. I see you there trying to sneak in. Hello. Our presidential Hi, advisors, um, institute advisors, and board advisors, support services, our services. Welcome. Say hi to your yeah, we're muting everyone. You may say hi to everyone. Thank you, Councilman Lavaro, for joining us. Thank you, Maria. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations to all. Maria. Hi, legal counsel Gary. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Hi, Senator Richard. Hi, Senator Richard. Hello. 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 Hello.
presidential advisors. Thank you for your support. Congratulations. Congratulations to Maria Nocom. Congratulations to Maria Nocom. What's our toast? Oh, yeah, yeah toast, toast. 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 After the white wine, we're going to do the red wine. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. And I changed the wine. No wine. Cheers. 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 Team 2020. Our national officers, thank you so much. To our international friends, thank you so much. Leo Roger, if you're still there, our new member from Dutch Caribbean, JCI New Jersey, has been welcoming dual memberships. So we've had, had dual members in the past month. Congrats to our dual memberships. Congratulations. Where's Ralph? Bye, everyone. Where's Steph? Oh, Rosalina, that was you. Bye. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I changed. <laughs> hey, Bye. Rosalina. Bye. Bye. Congratulations, Rosalina. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye, Ralph. Bye, Ralph. I'm spotlighting you, Ralph. Ralph, thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank What else can we do? Oh, Senator B. Are you saying it's now our hour? Senator Rhea, it's time to dance. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Oh, wonderful night, everyone. Congratulations. It was a beautiful event. I miss you all. I miss you, Jane. Hi, I'm All the way from Hawaii. Thank you so much, Nate. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Senator Lee. How are you? Thank you, Senator Jocelyn. Thank you, Jean. Guys, you did a great job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's all I can say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, thanks a lot, Angel Salon. Thanks to our invitation to meeting, uh, Jane Raz, uh, Katia Camino, of, uh, the one from Toronto to Japan, Carol Ho of JCI Ireland, and our friends from JCI, Marty from Netherlands. I like, me, I like to make a shout out to my best friend right there, Rubina, Rui Esteban, who is actually my Miracle and COVID, war, COVID survivor. Thank you, Rowie, for sticking around. I am so proud of it. I love you. We love you, Rowie. So happy to see you here. Hi, Sam. You are a miracle. Yeah, you love are. Love you, guys. Thank you for having me. Arman and I made a bet how long it was going to take um, for Maria to cry. <laughs> I know. I told her. <laughs> she said she wasn't going to. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you.
to uh, Stevenson for this wonderful gift. Um, it's a piece of medallion from the states to from the chain, so it will definitely be a reminder, and it will be it will be hanging in my living room. Thank you. Thanks, Andrea, for the video of the Thanks to our sponsors also, Philippine Daily Mirror. JCI Amsterdam. Marigold also from Amsterdam. We'll have to visit soon, right, Senator Vivian? JCI Amsterdam. You can see here. Maria, Arlen, and Joyce. Martin, say something about our new project. Martin. Say something yeah, so we, uh, say together, something. With, uh, together with Stevenson, we uh, we uh, we had some really late night, early morning, whatever you were uh, in the world, uh, drinks, <laughs> because it was sometimes from J uh, Japan till Ecuador, and uh, uh, we had drinks at the virtual European conference, and now we thought, uh, let's do something that we can show uh, our cities, even though we cannot travel. So uh, we have a new project, Travel With Us, and we're launching it basically all, uh, we had a teaser this weekend. And uh, in the upcoming weeks, we will have people like showing their own city. Uh, and uh, we'll be showing that on our YouTube channel and on our Facebook channel. And uh, so you're all welcome if you want to show your city. Uh, doesn't have to be a big city or a big uh, place. Just uh, video it, video the things that you like to do. Uh, and like to uh, show and uh, send us an email at uh, TWU, <laughs> so not TWA, but TWU <laughs> at JCI AI, Amsterdam International AI.nl. So, uh, but uh, Stevenson is also 